Okay, and this is video number four, and I, I think it'll be the last one because I'm going down my list nicely. Um, another positive thing with this is it runs off of a thermostat. Yes, you can run it manually. No, you don't need to have a thermostat. There's a little door on the side here that has all kinds of buttons and stuff, and you can put it on manual or you can put it on automatic. You can run just a fan. You can circulate with it. Uh, I wanted something that was a no-brainer. I wanted something that we would be able to leave the house and still have the house heat. And so this runs off of the thermostat. We just fill the hopper. Our thermostat is in here. Here's our thermostat. Okay, and you set the temperature for what you want it with the switch on the top, and it runs until the house gets to the temperature that you want. Now, I was away today, I had a lot of running to do, and I just now clicked it up to 75 because we had it set at 60. And so it's now at 75 because the house is, well, it's up to 66 degrees now. When I initially came in, the house was on 62 and it was too chilly. Warm enough for the cats, not warm enough for me. So now I'm home for the day. I just clicked it up to 75 so that I can get it running and get the house nice and hot and nice and warm. And then I'll click it back down to probably 68 or 70 and it'll stay that way through the night. Uh, so that's an, another positive thing because the house really doesn't get too hot and doesn't really get too cold because it is on a thermostat and it will regulate itself. So I, I kind of like that. The only thing you need to know with a pellet stove, and it's probably the same thing with a wood stove, but I, I don't have a wood stove, so I'm not sure on that. But this is, as I showed you before, the extent of our house. It's, it's just, you know, two rooms together. And just to give you an idea, I think from where I'm standing to over there, I think it's only like the width of, of these two rooms is only 24 feet maybe and 17 feet long. Um, it's a 1960s, early 1962 ranch. So they made everything in very small portions back then and it heats these rooms very well. The bedrooms however are all the way down there and we have a three uh, heating system, three zones, and the only zone that we keep on is the zone in the garage. The bedroom zones are not on, and the interesting thing is is that when we had the bedroom zones on, we only kept the bedroom zone at 58 because I happen to like to sleep in a cold room. I like a warm bed, but I don't like a warm bedroom and so we only kept it at 58 and so even though the stove is all the way out here it does heat the bedroom to exactly where it used to be when we ran the oil so um, you know it may not be the ideal place for the stove to be but it does its job and I think the most important thing is the little boy really likes it so hey Whatever the expense is, it was worth it because he's happy. So I hope this helps you when you're making decisions. Uh, I would love to be able to cook on it. I cannot. But I do love the fact that it is, uh, you know, a nice economical way to heat your house. Um, you know, it's a little over $500 for the season. And even if we have to get a few more bags, it's not going to be that many more bags and it's only like two dollars and change a bag so there's no way we're even going to hit six hundred dollars to heat the house and the house is warmer 
with this than we ever kept it with the oil heat. So I'm very happy. I hope this helps anyone who's interested um, in knowing the difference at least what a pellet stove is all about. You do have to clean it every other day. You can see the buildup on the sides of the window. It does have to be uh, shut down and vacuumed every other day in order for it to run right. And the main reason is because that firebox is very, very tiny. I think it's only two inches by five inches. That's it. So you do, you know, to get optimum burn, you do have to keep it clean. But uh, I hope this helps. So as always, have a good day.